Sir Isaac Newton saw the first comet in the sky observed by telescope and used it to calculate its trajectory and determine if his theory on gravity was true or not. His calculations were so precise, they not only confirmed his universal theory of gravitation, but the astronomer, mathematician, and meteorologist Edmund Halley, who also studied comets, used Newton's equations to help him determine the orbit of 24 other comets and predicted when they would appear in the night sky. They all lined up perfectly. But now it gets interesting. When he investigated the calculations of the comet of 1680, he took a different approach, and rather than look at the meteor's future trajectory, he went back in time to find its past trajectory, and he noticed something very strange. In that, this comet not only swung by Earth every 575 years, but going back seven orbits, it was dangerously close to Earth. The year was 2345 BC. This was later confirmed by mathematician William Wilston, whose incredible intricate mathematical calculations brought him fame throughout Europe. He said, this was the comet that started Noah's global flood. He declared, this comet had passed close to Earth thousands of years ago, so close in fact, that the comet had doused the world with water from its tail and exerted enough gravitational force to pull forth the oceans from beneath the planet's crust. In short, Whiston concluded that this same comet, seen by sky watchers in the 17th century, was also what unleashed the epic rainfall and great flood that had cleansed the earth of sinners in biblical times. The next time this comet will pass earth is in the year 2225. According to Genesis, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the 17th day of the month, the same day all of the fountains of the great deep were broken open, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. Winston argued that a comet passing close enough to earth would explain these phenomenon, 